UFC middleweight division fight. He's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a... So So here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great arena. Great punch landed with so much power. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, power tie. And they separate. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it. They are fighting behind him real well. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. And they set. Back and forth we go! Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to spread. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Misses with the left hook. Continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Ten seconds to go. Oh, big right hand, yes. Round two straight ahead. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on them. Very, very efficient. Good round in the second. Oh! Dude's hurt. Oh! Oh! Inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Right hand oh. pushes the clinch. Oh, his opponent swarming like a fish out of water. Now the ground is This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen the thrill of this round of fighter. This young man is as good as any.
you've ever seen. Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Are right, we go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 14 seconds of round number two. You're going to the winner by knockout, Yuri Denisa Koshenka. Well, he's smiling.